what is going on you guys it is scorpion red tarot back at it again for the mid-month reading for march what's going on aries what is going on baby so i hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of march we're here we're going to find out what's going on shout out to everyone who's been liking sharing and subscribing shout out to all my new subscribers if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with scorpion reds tarot you can do so by clicking that hyperlink in the about tab all right there's a blue link that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again it says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me if this video resonates and if you would like to give a love donation a dollar or two you can do so there's a paypal link in the description let's get into the prayer and get into the reading for aries father god thank you so much for bringing us here we are at the mid-month mark for march 2019 thank you so much for all of the blessings keeping us encouraged keeping us steadfast and moving forward into the progressions of the future thank you so for, so much for laying out the path for us please give us guidance for mid-month march throughout to the end of march thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons please give us guidance for march mid-month from the 15th to the 31st thank you so much for all the blessings and lessons, please give the sign of Aries guidance for March. All right. So, <clears throat> let's find out what the general energy is for my Aries. Please give me guidance for Aries. March 15th. Alright, that page of wands in reverse. Hangman. Six of coins. Six of pentacles. So this is what I'm getting, Aries. This is what I'm getting here, okay? Hmm. This is the page of wands in reverse, all right? So I feel right now that mm, Aries is like not feeling whatever the environment that he's at. I really do feel like, you know, you know how the page of wands is. It's like, you know, they're, they're in it when the getting is going, you know, but when it gets tough or, you know, stuff gets a little bit stale, they're ready to roll out. So I definitely feel like Aries is at a point where, like, they're probably, you know, not very passionate about whatever this situation is. Um, I don't see that they're necessarily communicating, um, a level of desire to be in a situation anymore. Um, I feel like this is a situation where they are hung up in. And um, I feel like they don't feel like they have free will to move almost. And like they have someone that's aiding them making sure that they can't get down. Like you know what I'm saying. It's like they're hung up here in this situation. And this person is just trying to give them everything that they need. While they're hung up in this situation. So they won't. You know so they don't want to get down. And Aries is just like look man. Um, you know, this was good at first, but right now for me, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not feeling growth, you know, so I might be declining, you know, your offer to continue to aid and abet me in the situation where I'm hung up for your benefit. Like, I really feel like that's how Aries feel. <coughs> They're in a situation where they feel like. I feel like Aries has come up a little bit financially right now and they are in a better, they're better off financially where they are able to give to people, you know, and I feel like Aries feels like they've been given so much of their self where it's like they're down to crumbs, but it's not a bad thing that they're giving to this person because they feel obligated like they're supposed to do it. They don't have any problem with doing it, but at the same time, it's just like, I don't feel like they're able to balance and, 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 and give. Okay, so look, you see this. So it's like they've accumulated these coins, right? But they got people over here. Like I'm taking this like this might be um, 
this might be your, your family obligations maybe somewhere else you know and then they got this other person that they're currently dealing with that they got to give more to this person where it's only you know it, it's like only a little bit for their self does that make any sense? I, I hope that this, this card is making sense. Because I feel like for some Aries, they, they definitely have an obligation somewhere else. You know, something that's already kind of out of the situation, but they still have an obligation there. And they still have four pentacles, but they're having to give everything to the situation where they're hung up in. And this person is aiding them at giving everything. I feel like... I feel like Aries feels, feels like they've been given everything. They've been given everything that they've worked so hard for. And they have worked so hard. Like Aries has really been working on their self. Aries has been on this journey of fixing things that were not right and that they knew were not right. And right now, they are at a place where they're reaping the uh, rewards and the benefits of all of that hard work. Because, you know, they are really putting out their best work out here now. You know, Aries is really doing good for themselves. They're really doing good for themselves and they're just like, man, I'm doing good for myself and everything, but I can't really I don't think it's like they can't breathe. They can't really grow. They can't really reach the amount of uh, they can't reach the success that they want to if they're constantly having to give to all of these different people. You know? And it's like, don't you see that I want to get down from here? Like, I don't want to be up here like this. But it's just like, no, you're okay. You want me to get you some water? I'll bring you some bread. You don't have to get down. And you're like, okay, but I want to get down. Like, I've been working on myself. I've been giving you, you know. I feel like the fact that Aries has been keeping herself hung up like that. That's why they feel like they're giving so much to this person. Because it's like, I'm literally relinquishing my power to you. You know, like I'm giving you everything and you know I have this other obligation and I barely only got one thing for myself. I didn't work on myself to end up suspended in the air like this. Like that's honestly how I feel like Aries feels. And they're just like I didn't work. I did not work on myself to end up having to balance and spread myself so thin where I ended up with crumbs. And... Aries sent a bird out because they're ready to make a move. It's like they've been really thinking. They've been really trying to strategize and just make a move because I really do feel like the passion has sizzled out in a situation and they're ready to go. But I feel like they're waiting for their ships to come in first. They're, I feel like they're waiting on something. It's something that there that is that Aries is waiting on that is delaying movement. They're waiting for that bird to come back to give them an appropriate message. Because it's like, man, I work too hard for this to just give it all away. They'll never be able to accumulate nothing. They'll never be able to have nothing with people like this and their energy. You see what I'm saying? The, you, you see these beggars and... and They'll, they'll never be able to be who they want to be and it's just like you already know how I am anyway I could be in it I one day one day I feel like I'm not one one day I don't motherfucker so you already know what the deal is and and I feel like that's the reason why this person is like trying to give them everything they want hung up like this but Aries is like man you already know I will fucking dip out like <laughs> you already know I will dip out I will dip out Aries has been maturing Especially my Aries men, they have been maturing emotionally, becoming more emotionally grounded. And I feel like whereas though they used to pop off and used to like get real upset and shit like that, I feel like they've been a lot more cool. They've been a lot gentler. They've been like really calm and collective and really having a good sense of control over their emotions. And like they're just like very emotionally calculated right now in this situation. I feel like they're accepting the offer you know they, they know they know they're aware that they hung up they're accepting the offer like okay okay i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm do this for now i'm gonna give this to y'all for now <laughs> the whole time i'm working on myself and don't think for one second that i'm not moving bitch i done told you i done told you i want the fuck down off of here i done told you i, I, I told you from the listen don't be surprised if i just dip the fuck out bruh don't be surprised, man. I'm just keeping my emotions together right now because I ain't trying to be having it up with you and shit. But um, 
I'm just waiting for this message to come back home and I'm dipping like like he <laughs> you see the king of cups you see how he's pouring out that cup of water it's just like I feel like Aries is pouring out their emotions in regards to the situation because I feel like he's trying to him or her they're trying to tell somebody that they don't want they don't want this situation the way it is. It's not exciting to them anymore. It's not helping them grow. Like, but Aries is, is growing regardless. But it's like, you not helping me grow. You want to keep me stagnated and some bullshit because you want me to give it to you. I feel like Aries done came into some money, bruh. Aries done came into some coins. Y'all want to play in 2019, huh? Give me the energy surrounding Aries, please. Mid March 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The thinking woman, the angel of balance, and the community. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Aries is just like, especially for my Aries women, like y'all have really been thinking. Y'all have been thinking. Okay, so let me let me break this down for my Aries women. You guys feel like the man that y'all been dealing with is immature and you you possibly think that they might be a little flighty, a little in and out, or they might just be in and out of your life, period, emotionally. Or you feel like this person only comes around when they want to have sex. And you definitely feel like this person is, you know, dating and dealing with other people because it's just like you two in and out with me. So I know whenever you're out, you're definitely out with somebody else. You understand? Because this is that thinking woman. She's like, hold on. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid because I know the energy. I can feel the energy. And the energy right here is off balance. And you be out in the community too much. I don't know what the fuck you're doing. But only thing I know, every time I try to leave and try to I try to get out of the situation where I'm hung up in the situation. <laughs> Anywho, schools and more. So, as I was saying, Aries basically feels like I said, this Aries woman, she definitely doesn't trust this man. He be too out, he be too in and out on the streets and stuff like that. But this man feeds her anytime she be ready to leave, he feeds her what she wants to keep her suspended in air in this situation. I feel like this man, he tries to keep her trapped in by money i feel like the man that she's dealing with is very generous um in regards to finances and i do feel like this person does feed her money wise maybe pays her bills or you know takes care of her you know financially but not you know sexually too but it's it's not fulfilling to her emotions because it's not consistent do you understand and I feel like every time that this girl tries to leave is after he comes in and he gives her some sex or he buys her a pocketbook or he'll go out and take her out somewhere or go buy her her favorite designer or whatever, whatever. And it puts her in a situation. It's like, well, damn, you know, I do have a solid foundation here. Maybe I should just continue to work on this. Maybe I should just continue to work on this. But at the same time, some in this woman is just like, man, I know I'm delaying. This moving, I just know it's something better out there for me. I just don't know why I can't make a move. I don't know why I can't make a move. I want somebody that is really going to give me their emotions. Someone that is going to love me and that's going to be committed to me. I don't want somebody that's immature and someone's constantly in and out all the damn time. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this person is juggling me with other people or not. I know this person does give to me, but it's not that consistent. It's just not balanced. And I'm, I'm thinking like he might be out there in the community celebrating with other people. 
You see? So, let's get some guidance and love for Aries for the 15th through the 31st of March. Please give me guidance for Aries. Mid-March. Thank you so much. What we got here? Attraction. Ooh, who you attracted to, Aries? It is safe for you to love. Trust. I feel like Aries is trying to manifest some new love. I definitely feel like that. I feel like for um the Aries... Ooh. Jeez. <laughs> I feel like for the Aries men, I feel like they're just trying to manifest a new start in love in general. In general. And I feel like right now, their like attraction level is on 10. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like because they're successful, like a lot of things have been going on just been going up for them like Aries has really been like working on himself the men the male Aries they've been working on himself like they on a glow up mode like you know like how women be like oh you know she done glue up like Aries done glue up he done blew up and it's just I feel like that's trapped in a situation where they're like I'm just giving all this I'm giving everything that I got so much where I'm not able to even enjoy the fruits of my labor I'm feeling burnt out my passions are dying in a situation. I feel like they damn near feel bored, even though I didn't see that card where they feel bored. But, you know, it's just that they're ready to, like, attract and manifest something new in their life. And it's just like, man, I know that I know that I've been putting good out into the universe. And I know that it's safe for me to love and that, you know, my heart is balanced. You know, I just feel like the energies around Aries have just been knocking him off. But... This Aries man, he knows and he trusts that something is good out there for them. They really do. They really do. They know there's something good out there for them. But I don't feel like they they feel like they deserve this type of love. Whatever, whoever, whatever Aries is dealing with right now, male or woman, this is not the type of love that they think that they deserve. I feel like Aries feels like they deserve something better. And that's why they're keeping an open mind here. They know that this person that they're dealing with is not their soulmate. They know that this person is not their soulmate. There's no more passion there, I told you. <laughs> they went through a honeymoon period with this person because this is something. This is somebody they've been with for a long time. This is someone for their past they've been with for an extremely long time. And y'all just have a long history with each other. But <laughs> there's no optimism here. There's really no true future here. Like, y'all don't have any set goals. I feel like y'all are just coexisting together. There's no elevation. This this relationship isn't going to elevate or engage any higher than what it is. Y'all don't even know how to express yourself or express your love to each other anymore. Okay? So, and y'all are just ready to attract something new. And I do feel like Aries might possibly have been out there in the community. You know? So, I feel like whoever this person is, especially my, my Aries females... Y'all been thinking, it's like, I'm off balance. I might as well go out there and have me some fun. Find me somebody, find me a true king. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that know how to commit. Actually, someone that's passionate and, and loving and caring and nurturing and things like that. Like, I want somebody to just run around. Only thing they care about is money. And they think everything is money, 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 money. You could buy, you know, you could please me with money. Like, yeah, like, I like all of that shit too, but... Money can't buy you love. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Aries just want time. Aries just wants to know that they are with somebody that really care about them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, if you really care about me, you not want to keep me tied up in a situation where I'm telling you I really want more growth. I want more movement. But you just feed me crumpets and tea and try, trying to kiss my boo-boos and shit. No, bitch. I want to get the fuck down. I want movement. Like, if you really love me, you you wouldn't just aid and abet me and being stuck in a situation that I'm in. Let me go. Let me move. Either let me down from here and you move with me and we gonna make these moves together. Or if you just wanna stay stuck right here, then bitch, go. Bye. Oh, God. Like, Aries is done. They like, listen, Aries is... The Aries men, 
they like listen they get they, they're controlling their emotions they're like i'm not even about to sit here and be doing all this bullshit with you i promise you i'm not it's not worth it and it's not worth it to aries and it's like aries has worked so hard on this stuff it's like i'll be damned if i'm gonna be fucking with a bitch that's gonna have me off balance aries like a thinking woman they like a woman that's smart you see what i'm saying they don't want nobody that's going to keep them off balance. They want someone that's educated. They want somebody smart that can make their own decisions by themselves. That is, you know, it's not burdening. Mm -mm. Please give me guidance. Additional guidance and love for Aries. They want solitude. They want to be by themselves. Mirroring. Mm-mm-mm. I feel like, mm, 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 Aries just wants you off, yeah, mm-hmm, patience, yeah, okay, so look, Aries is just like, let's say, I feel like Aries almost wants to run away, what is this, unawakened, yeah, so Aries, Aries wants solitude, they want peace. They just want to be the fuck by themselves. And I, I feel like they kind of don't know how to break it to this person. Because whoever this person is, is real clingy and needy. This person is real clingy and needy. And they are... Uh, I'm just going to keep it right there. That's why I was I had to I had to make sure I specified that Aries men they want a smart woman they want a thinking woman they want a woman that can govern her own self that when they have issues where they need advice and things of that nature that this woman can actually bring something to the table like they can wake up on a Sunday morning make some breakfast get some coffee pull out the newspaper and talk about current events and like you know shit go somewhere with their boys, go to a little cigar lounge and sit, drink some, uh, 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 what's that, Johnny Walker, like, you know what I'm saying, like, they, they, like, sophisticate, like, Aries, they just trying to change, they trying to change, and they want a woman that's trying to change with them, like, this woman don't want Aries to change, because I feel like they, they, this woman, I feel, whoever this woman is, she got issues, whoever this woman that the Aries men is with, they got issues, because this woman, I don't feel like she's very confident. She's very needy. She's very insecure. She's very clingy. And she sees Aries change. And I feel like when Aries was in their bullshit, they had something over Aries. But now that Aries is getting their money together and they grown and they changing, this woman almost feel, she feels scared that he's going to grow. You see how that light is over her head, over his head? She's scared that he's going to get fully awakened you know because aries has been unawakened for a minute and wake up and see her for who she is that she you know what i'm saying this woman has issues aries wants to be the hell by herself i feel like this woman has a lot of issues and i feel like this person could possibly be um i feel like aries has picked up some of the of the undesirable characteristic traits of this person who's been aiding them you know and i feel like the only they feel like the only reason why i'm this way is because you i've been trying to change and you've been trying to keep me this way and i feel like a lot of things that aries has been doing that they're trying to change they're realizing like that ain't even truly who the fuck i am i'm mirroring the energy of this person it's just i've been around him for so fucking long like you know like how Someone has dated someone or been around someone so long. You be like, y'all look like y'all family, but y'all not. But y'all been around each other so much that y'all look like each other, walk like each other, talk like each other. You would think. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like this person that Aries has been around, it's just been, it's just been the same shit for so long. It's just like, man, this ain't even me. I just want to get down from here. I don't feel like the messages that Aries have been trying to relate to this person it's not that they haven't been trying to tell the person it's not being received it's falling upon deaf ears and that's not aries fault because at the end of the day aries has done the shadow work you see what i'm saying and this person that aries needs to it's it's is 
dealing with they need to deal with their darkness and figure out where their insecurities lies and why the fuck you want to keep me hung up and suspended like this this is not healthy for me you don't want me to grow so what the fuck is wrong with you where you don't want the best for me that's the true fucking question and that's the true bullshit that's bullshit and i'm sorry i'm getting really upset here but aries is trying to be patient they're really trying to be patient in this situation, but they know I'm not going to grow here. I'm not going to grow here. And I'm not going to be able to reach my full awakening if I continue to deal with this situation right here. It's just not even going to happen. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. Spirit, please give Aries some direct guidance from Spirit for mid-March. Thank you. Aries, free yourself, baby. Don't be with somebody because that's not love. Somebody's trying to stagnate you like that. That ain't love. And you are definitely attracting new vibrations to you. Let me tell you, Aries, I hope you're proud of yourself. And I want to tell you why because you don't need no one to validate the changes and the things that you've made in your life to make your life better. Look at what the universe has been giving you. The universe and the Lord has been blessing you abundantly. You came, you came up, you came up, get these people to fuck away from you so that the Lord could fully give you all the blessings. This person is holding you back and you know it, you know it, divine order. Do you understand? All of this shit is happening in divine order, okay? It says everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. You see your growth. You see this person trying to hold back your stagnation. It is time for balance. And it's time for you to balance the scales. It is divine timing and divine order for change. No one, nothing or no one can stop your growth, Aries. This is going to happen with or without this person's permission. You don't have to ask them the fuck can't you get down. Do you understand me, Aries? Get the fuck down and get your life started. I love y'all. Aries. <laughs> y'all better come the fuck through. Give me some last parting words in regards to this divine order. Thank you so much. Yes. Please give us balance. Because it's like you've been doing this balancing act. You ain't been doing nothing but balancing that. And it's just like, man, what I need to do this for me, man. I can't sit here. Like, if you want to stay here in this, I almost want to say squalor. You want to you want to stay. You want to stay down here. You stay down here. I I ain't trying to do that no more, bro. Come on. I just feel like Aries, like really, especially the Aries females, the Aries males, like this is like serious. Like feels like they can't move. They can't breathe. They can't go. Like, you know. Come on now. The Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Let me try and tell you. There's clarity. There is clarity. You done understood everything that the world and that the Lord has been trying to teach you. Okay? So if it comes down to you having to be cold and to separate yourself from certain people, and my Aries females, y'all are definitely doing it right now. And you don't really particularly give a fuck about how people feel about it because you need to do what needs to be done and what's best for you. Because at the end of the day, if you in a situation where you ain't got no room to fucking think, like, no, I need space. And that's that solitude. You're cutting this shit out. You see? You're cutting this shit out. You said, I need room so I can think clear. And I can't think clear with you all down my back. I got to go. You got to get the fuck out of here. Okay? So y'all might be cutting somebody out of your life. And when you do it, God damn it, you might not be... God you, I'm... Pro I'm listen. You are coming down on that ass. You like, look. It ain't my motherfucking fault that you ain't do shit with your life. It ain't my fault that you can't take care of yourself by yourself. I'm not going to sit here... All right? I hold myself back. When me and you don't need, it's not even passionate no more. We don't have sex no more, bruh. Like, come on. Me and you barely can stand each other. So I'm about to stay here and hold my life back just because you don't want to get a better job so that you can figure out a place to live by yourself. That's not my problem. Okay? It surely ain't. You need to fix your situation with your mother. You need to fix your situation with whoever. I'm giving you 30 days and you ain't got to put me out. I'm leaving. 
Okay? So I'm giving you 30 days to get your shit together. And as I, as you're getting your shit together, you will be slowly seeing me packing my shit and moving my shit the fuck up out of here. Okay? I don't give a fuck about how you feel. Okay? You want to know the truth? Bitch, you can't stand the truth. You can't take the truth. I've been trying to tell you the truth for how long now? But what you want to do? What you want to do? What you want to do? Now just take this. Will it, everything will be better? Bitch, it's not better. It's not better. The fuck? I've been waiting. I've been waiting. And I've been waiting. And I have been doing nothing but receiving a short ass harvest here. You've been holding me back from my future, okay? And I got to dead this situation. You see that scar right there? I have to move the fuck on so that I can receive 10 of Pentacles, real growth. I can't do this with you no more. I want true love. I want true happiness. I want a happy family. I want to be with someone I'm attracted to. I don't even feel like you and this person are even attracted to each other anymore. Because I feel like the stagnation just makes you look at this person different. Because you're looking at this person like you see me growing and you don't want me to grow. I don't give a fuck how much we long. I don't care how long we known each other. I don't care how much you say you love me. You really don't fucking love me if you don't want me to fucking grow. You're not even attractive to me no more. That shit not attractive no more. You moving forward in faith. You could give zero fucks about what no one got to say, honey. That flower in your hand, that is inspiration. That is spirit. You have packed your bag and you are going off. You are going off. Do you understand? Tuh. Listen. You dealt with people who were emotionally unavailable, insecure, misleading, because I feel like people could give you the facade to make you feel like they got their shit together emotional. No, I'm okay like this, this, and that. Like, no, I'm not really um, insecure. I'm not a... That's bullshit. You're very watery. You're very inconsistent. It's just no. It's just no. You know? If you can't give me your full heart and you could turn around and face me and be a real... A real... Man, like a real good, someone who really care. I don't want it at all. Continue to turn your back to me. Because at the end of the day, with a smile on my face, I'm going to take all nine of these cups. Because I am, I listen, with or without you, my growth is happening. With or without you, I'm going to be happy and fulfilled. So, you know. I'm going to smile my way all the way the fuck out the door to freedom and happiness. And ain't nobody stopping me. Can't nobody stop me. So, you know, I don't care if you feel like I'm being smug, if I'm being an asshole about it, whatever. Because me breaking free this moment, like me finally telling you to fuck off and telling you how I feel. This is the most emotionally fucking fulfilling moment that I've ever had in my life. Because someone need to fucking tell you how fucking pathetic you look. No, like on God. Because whoever this is ever... This is the person that Aries is dealing with. They got Aries hung up like this, male or woman, or someone thinks that Aries has them hung up like this. But whoever it is in this energy that's in this energy down here, whoever this is down here, that person feels like this person is almost pathetic because it's like the fact that you would stoop so low to try to stagnate me for your benefit because you're not confident enough to go up there and, and, and pull yourself up. It's just, it's sad. You know what I'm saying? You should really think better of yourself. And I really do feel like this Aries, at what point in time, looked at this person, you know, looked at this person with a lot of admiration. And it's like, how the fuck did you get here where... I was the fucked up one. Like, when... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Anyway... This has been y'all reading, y'all. I need I need y'all to I need y'all to get rid of this energy right here. This one right here is gonna hold you back forever. Allow yourself freedom. 
So this has been y'all reading Aries. I love y'all. This is Scorpion Reds. If this video resonated and if you want to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking that about tab. All right. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, at Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If this video um, gave you some insight and clarity and if it hit right on the goddamn head and you want to send a dollar to go ahead. There's a PayPal link down there in the description and I love you guys so much. Make sure to like share and subscribe if you feel like this situation fits somebody that you know <laughs> go ahead and share the nut shit and be like look i told you get i told you get rid of that bitch didn't i tell you <laughs> i love you y'all i'll see y'all next month peace